Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and week ahead, brought to you exclusively by Fly in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Um, what a fabulous weather school we had this week. Thanks to everybody who joined in. Um, I think you certainly learned a lot from it, didn't you? And uh, judging by the forecasts that you've been sending me, wow, um, your, your knowledge has really gone up and you're picking out those flying windows really, really well. Um, if you've not been to Aviation Weather School yet, then um, you're going to get another chance to come to my online live evening course on the consecutive Tuesdays of the 12th and the 19th of March between 6.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. So this course is presented entirely live online by me. You can join in from wherever you are. You'll get a recording of each of the sessions to watch for up to a week afterwards. And um, my aim is to build your confidence in using the weather for your flying, in understanding the forecasts that you're seeing from official sources, and to be able to spot weather windows yourself up to five days in advance. Now, I've had everybody from uh, student pilots right the way through to commercial pilots attending the course, all saying they've learned a lot from it. You can find out more and you can book your place now by going to weatherschool.co.uk. Um, if you come down to aviation, click on Aviation Weather School Live Online Course and um, you can find out all the info you need there. Just on the right hand side here is where you need to click to book your place. And it would be absolutely super to see you there on those consecutive Tuesdays of the 12th and the 19th of March. There's so much to tell you about, so much to learn and it'll make your flying just that more enjoyable as we head in towards the new season. OK, um, this is how things shape up, though, for this week. Um, quite a mixed start to the weekend. We've got weekend showers mostly in western areas. And then things do actually get a little bit better as we get into next week. This is how um, Thursday is going to shape up. We've got front moving its way northwards. This is the little critter that's bringing rain, turning to snow as it passes into northern England and northern Ireland through Thursday afternoon. There could be some snow too across northern parts of Wales, across the northern Midlands. Rain down towards the south, either way, not a great day for flying. And if you want to see a classic example of icing uh, conditions, then this front is just about it. Scotland's looking better, particularly central and western areas with higher bases here and better weather overall. Now for Friday, low pressure is in control. We've got the still at a front across uh, Scotland and northern England and, and uh, Northern Ireland. This is going to be bringing non-VFR conditions here and base is probably less than a thousand feet for many. 12 to 15,000 foot tops. That front still got some oomph left in it and it will be falling as snow over the hills with lowering freezing levels, icing a problem again. Across many parts of England and Wales, I've got to say it's marginal to non-VFR. Again, showers here, 2,000 foot bases overall. 12,000 foot top, some heavy showers coming in. May get a little better, Southern Ireland, far southwest England later. And better too for Western Scotland. Higher cloud bases here, 3,000 foot tops, about 10,000 feet, but a strong easterly wind. On to Saturday, low pressure is in control. Heavy showers across Ireland, heavy showers for southwest England, for western parts of Wales. Here, we're going to be into non to marginal conditions with. Cunims uh, blowing around, but if they stay clear through, you should find some gaps coming through in the cloud, particularly Western Ireland. Typical bases, two to 3,000 feet, tops 15 to 20,000 feet. Rain and some sleet and snow affecting northeast Scotland, non VFR here, base of 1,000 feet, tops at 12 to 15,000 feet. Elsewhere, though, not bad, particularly in the morning, starting off there, 4,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. Just watch for a few showers in the afternoon, but overall, not that bad. Saturday, uh, Sunday, sorry, a breezier day, a westerly flow, driving summer showers west, eastwards through Ireland through western parts of England, through Wales. Here we're going to find marginal conditions as those showers blow through, but in between, it looks okay. Just get ready for that breeze, gusting 25 knots, perhaps even 30 knots across western coasts. Bases, 3,000 feet, tops at about 15 to 18,000 feet. Similar story for Scotland with marginal conditions here, but okay for central and eastern parts of England. Here we're looking at bases of around three to 4,000 feet, Sorry about that. Three uh, tops of about 12,000 feet. Monday looks like this. Low pressure is in control through 
Monday. Um, this is going to be bringing some pretty hefty showers with it. Could be a front that kind of lies through this area, northern parts of Ireland, northern England, bringing non-VFR conditions here. But across Scotland, across England and Wales, generally VFR, three to 4,000 foot basis tops, about 10,000 feet. And then for Tuesday, high pressure building in, maybe some morning fog across southern parts of England, but generally it's a fair day. Good flying conditions, one or two showers across northern Scotland, but overall okay, 4,000 foot bases, 8,000 foot tops. And then for Wednesday, the high is still with us. Again, morning mist and fog across England and Wales, but I do think that will clear. And they're into fair conditions. Bases 4,000 feet, tops about 8,000 feet, but cloud increases in southern Ireland later, leading to non-VFR weather here as we find rain moving in. So you see what I mean? Not a bad flying weekend overall, and certainly next week things look like they are going to be improving. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Don't forget to book your place now at Aviation Web School Part 1, my online course on the consecutive Tuesdays of the 12th and 19th of March. I'm just going to teach you so much about weather. You'll enjoy it. It's a fabulous course and it will make you money because it's going to save you wasted money in getting down the airfield and not being able to fly. That's what I'll try and do. Uh, you can book your place at weatherschool.co.uk. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.